Hi everybody, I'm Cam Green, and welcome to another episode of Crash Course. And today we're going to be talking about the French Revolution, a revolution that most people don't know about, but it's possibly more gruesome and more important than the American Revolution. <laughs> France in the 18th century was a little bit messed up and was going into bankruptcy, kind of like the, our country is today. Anyway, there was these nobles and kings that were called the Ancient Regime, Anger Rage, Ancient Rage, and the Ancient Regime. Obviously, I take Latin. But there were these nobles, and they never paid taxes, even though they took control of the bulk of the French wealth. And King Louis was spending money like it was his job, and France was deeply in debt. He was unable to fix it. Like America is today. People were running out of food and nobody in the lower class was happy with the nobles lack of effort or the reformation that was going on in the government. So the peasants were extremely unhappy with Louis and the nobles and Louis ended up calling the estates the estate general together which haven't met in years. While at the meeting basically no progress was made and one day the third estate which was the poor people went into a meeting and locked themselves out. This enraged him so much, kind of like a fat little boy being told that he couldn't have cookies. Or cake. So they went to a nearby tennis court. Where they swore the tennis court oath, and made their own assembly and called it the National Assembly. They soon created a new constitution called the Declaration of the Rights of Man. At this time, people were uprising over food shortages in Paris. So Louis sent troops to Paris to quiet them down. But the peasants were even more angered by this. So with the clearance of them by the National Assembly, they took the Bastille. This was the start of an R-E-V-O-L-U-T-I-O-N. Revolution. Meanwhile, back at Versailles, Louis was, Louis was still king and living the high life while all this was going down and a revolution was being started. Then a rumor started that Mary Antoinette was stashing wheat and bread in Versailles, so a large group of peasant women stormed the Versailles and demanded that Louis and Marie give them food or leave Versailles and move to Paris. This is when Mary Antoinette said her famous line, so when the presents had no bread, she said, Let them eat cake! sure whether or not she said this, but it just helps portray how out of the loop she was to her country's economy. So Louis and Marie gave them food because everyone's afraid of ar armed peasant women. Like my wife. I don't even have a wife. Anyways, at the time, no one was paying attention to Enlightenment ideas. Curse you, Justin Timberlake! The whole revolution was based mainly on the lack of food and terrible economic and political systems. This was a fairly peaceful revolution. So the National Assembly wanted to make a constitutional monarchy and thought the king was essential for a successful government. There was another group called the Jacobins who were much more radical and wanted a complete reform of the systems. These Jacobins tried having a position petition drive which got a little out of hand. Those crazy kids. And ended up with troops from the National Assembly firing on them and killing over 50 people. This means the National Assembly killed people for the people. Confusing idea, right? France then invaded Austria, but Austria was backed by Prussia, making the battle two on one. King Louis then encouraged Prussia to continue supporting Austria, which the National Assembly didn't like. So the National Assembly suspended the monarchy and started a republic. Then later, King Louis was put in trial in front of the National Assembly, where they decided to execute him. Things were kept on going downhill from there. This brought about the age of fear. Dr. Joseph Guillotine invented this head cutting machine, which became called the Guillotine, and anyone thought against the revolution was beheaded with the Guillotine. Maximilien Rose Pierre became the main political figure during the Reign of Terror and got everybody fired up to kill people. People were getting beheaded left and right, and the whole country was going to crap, and Rose Pierre himself ended up getting beheaded, and the Committee of Public Safety actually changed the unit of time and renamed all the months to avoid religious connections. That's all the time that we have for this video. Tune in next time to find out what happens during the rest of the French Revolution.
Okay, now just say the last part and you're good. And then we're done. Hold on, make another video. Mm -hmm. Kill people. Good job. Way to add that. Yeah. I'm gonna lose that red. Yeah. yeah they, they were pretty good there. Anyways, at the time, no one was paying attention to enlightenment ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, at the time, no one was paying attention to enlightenment ideas. Damn it, Stan. <laughs> oh, no. You can't say <laughs> Blue. <laughs> Kill, why do you look like you want to kill someone? I don't know. Murder. Yeah, why? So they went nearby nearby to a tennis court. Go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> so they went to a nearby tennis court. Oh, I did. Switch them, just switch them, switch them. I can still cut it. Oh! <laughs> Start of a R E V E L. Gosh. Keep going. <laughs> That's going at the end. <laughs> this was the start of a R E L. <laughs> you should call her R E L. <laughs> Revolution. <laughs> This was the start of a L. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. yeah. Do I need a hold of letters or something? It's like. It's really bad. <laughs> All right, Cam, you got it this time. If you spell it wrong, just keep going. Okay. Improvise. It's okay. <sighs> okay. There's an. Uh, okay. This was the start of. Okay. This was the start of a R. E V L U T. <laughs> Was I right? No. Okay. Yeah, okay, you wanted to kill anyone that time.